coffee uh, testing, which is uh, a demonstration to introduce our new green, which is uh, newly launched today. Uh, we call Rwanda, which is uh, a green, whole green, uh, from uh, Africa. All right. So right now we are going to use we call it a whole of a technique uh, to derive or extract out of the taste of the whole bean. Okay. Right. So all right. So we're going to divide this uh, demonstration into two parts. Which is the first part is to demonstrate how we do the this technique using the whole of the second technique. Uh, the second part will be uh, the coffee testing itself, which is we want to taste and we want to uh, smell the coffee, we want to uh, locate, describe, and uh, it's a bit uh, uh, about the coffee itself. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to start our coffee testing. Right, so first step of coffee testing is we are going to just put this, uh, we call it ceramic, uh, which is uh, to filter out the whole bean here. Right, so I'm going to use the, right, so, so this is our uh, pepper filter. The reason I'm doing this is because this is to ensure that this pepper filter is properly fit into this uh, ceramic uh, cook. So we're going to do like a bit of um, uh, experimenting over here because normally for the co-over uh, style of uh, technique we could just want to use the boiled water but our store manager here is a chief um, he wanted to try why not we try to pour over by using hot milk as well so that's why uh, explaining why we have like two ceramic thermometer here. Okay. There you go. Right. So I'm just gonna have a quick uh, refill of uh, boiling water. Okay. So we are entering into the first part of the uh, uh, the second part uh, of the pour over uh, step, which is to wet the uh, water filter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do like circular motion over here to ensure that this water filter, this pebble uh, filter, are probably uh, wet, right? And as you can see, as the drip of the water uh, falling down. And the purpose of we are using the hot boiling water, which is the temperature should be just right around 98 degrees Celsius to 100, which is our boiling point of water, to ensure that this ceramic cone is properly set into the temperature of the drink that uh, we desire, which is uh, for this drink, we, de we design for like a uh, hot brew coffee. So the same thing as we do. Among the store within this district to have this uh, pour over uh, 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 equipment, so it's kind of like a privilege for you guys to have this kind of uh, experience. Right. So as I want to bring this uh, uh, excess uh, boiling water and kettle, so I'm just going to grind this um, uh, Rwanda African coffee uh, uh, bean. So I have I have just uh, tried the whole bit to the cup. It's, a, it's a, uh, in the form of the whole bit. So I already grind it into the into the uh, concrete setting, which is on our grandmaster. It's a number nine. If you 
prefer this style if you kind of like that like, want to do like kind of your mini style of experience at home you can just request to us by buying our new home and request to any of our barista to run it into a uh, number 9 setting so I'm just going to, uh, this is a uh, uh, 50 grams of uh, whole wheat using this scoop, which is like roughly uh, plus minus 50 grams. So it's like uh, five scoop of this, right? So I'm just gonna pour it over here. Okay. So we are entering to the sound. We have just passed the third uh, key step of uh, pour over method, which is dose and grind coffee. So we are entering to the fourth step of the uh, pour over which is to uh, brew, co brew the coffee so all right this this is the part which is the most interesting so what i'm going to do is in clockwise rotation over here okay so i'm just going to make sure that this Cold coffee, uh, with the process we call it uh, blooming. We're gonna let the coffee to bloom, just like kind of like expand, you know, like flower blooming, you know, something like that. This is to ensure that we extract the, that uh, process of chemical reaction we call it, to bring out that carbon dioxide out of the coffee bean. So, so the, the coffee already bloomed. So we, we can like extract the core uh, taste of the bee, right? This blooming process shall end up when the last drip, as you can see down here, uh, fall, right? And for your information also, I am actually doing this for the portion of venti size, which is our largest size of our group coffee, which you can request it from our barista. Right. Should be okay. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the hot boiling water over here, which is the temperature not below than 90 degrees, and it's just around 95 degrees to up, uh, 100 degrees Celsius. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Circular motion clockwise and finish the rest of the boiling water over here. And always, always opt for brew coffee if you want, if you wanted to taste like our uh, the freshest quality of our beer. Because, um, fun fact is, uh, when you buy our coffee, the freshness and the quality of the coffee can be tested um, uh, when, when you when you grind it. Make sure to consume it within a week after you uh, open the we call it the flat lock of the bean. And after you grind it, make sure to consume it uh, immediately to enjoy the, the 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 quality of the coffee. This is to um, to make sure that you won't get like a stale taste of the coffee, you know? Yeah. So, it, it gotta be like a lot of passion doing this. Because you, because you want to taste that, you know, quality and the tasty notes of the coffee, which we are going to explain afterwards. So I'm just gonna uh, pour over the rest of this boiling water, and yeah, we're set to go. So, like I mentioned earlier, this process of proper uh, pour over uh, method, in order to have that uh, the most superior quality of the coffee, we're gonna make sure that the last drip of the uh, water uh, go through all of the bean. To ensure that the extract, the extraction, the uh, proper extraction of the coffee are uh, being uh, carried out over here. So while we're waiting, I'm just going to uh, grind another uh, batch of coffee.
the difference you know, like, in this one and then the protein one? Uh, boil water and this one we're going to do the interesting part of the bowl. We're going to try with, with the uh, bowl. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I think the, the, the first batch of this, uh, just using the empty okay, the water. So I'm just going to take it first in a, uh, to ensure that uh, it has the quality that we uh, Oh, that is very tasty. Okay, right. So without further ado, I'm just gonna distribute to all of you. These are Rwanda. Coffee by using a uh, pour of brew coffee by using the pour pour of coffee maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's enjoy. Okay, don't drink it yet because we have like actually steps to uh, drink this uh, coffee. Okay, so. Okay, the, uh, we're going to enter to the second part of the coffee testing, which is to uh, use the fundamental step to uh, try this coffee. So the first thing is, use your finger. Yes. <laughs> just uh, follow, follow me over here. Use your finger and close just a quarter of your cup. Yeah, just like that. And smell it. Okay, what do you guys uh, think about the smell? Very sweet. Sweet? You got you, 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 you to smell sweet? How about you, sir? Aromatic. Aromatic? How about you, Miss? Over there? What's the smell? What's the smell? Do you think is there any kind of familiar smell? We're gonna get into that. Okay, the second step of uh, the second fundamental step of coffeeing is to slurp it. Why we slurp it? We don't want to burn our tongue. All right. So with the sound of this, like this, uh, slurp sound. All right. So why we are doing? Uh, despite of like uh, we are trying to not make sure that our tongue being burned by you know. The, the hotness of this uh, uh, hard boiled water because we want to minimize you know the risk of being uh, hurt by you know the temperature and then we want to better spread it to our uh, to our tongue right so we are entering the third uh, uh, step of our coffee which is uh, to locate it so what do you guys uh, think about the, the where where the coffee uh, uh, rested on your tongue? Well, I, I feel for in my opinion, I feel it kind of like on the tip of my tongue and slightly in the middle. Yeah. So how about you guys? In the middle. Yeah. How about you, sir? Same, Same right. How about you, sir? Can't tell. <laughs> you can you can figure. It. Mm. Uh, how about you, miss? Do you feel like? The, the coffee tastes better in which part of your tongue? Middle, in the, at the tip, in the middle, or at the end of your tongue? Middle. In the middle as well. So, majority of us uh, feel that this coffee better uh, detected, uh, kind of uh, 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 rested on our uh, middle of our tongue. Right. And then, the last fundamental step of coffee tasting is to describe the coffee, which is what we have done now.